Unless otherwise noted, changes described below apply to the newest Chrome beta channel release for Android, Chrome OS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. One out of every five user feedback reports submitted on Chrome for desktop mention some type of unwanted content. Examples include links to third-party websites disguised as play buttons or other site controls, or transparent overlays on websites that capture all clicks and open new tabs or windows. In this release, Chrome's pop-up blocker now prevents sites with these types of abusive report in Google Search Console to see if any of these abusive experiences have been found on their site and improve their user experience. Two types of abusive experiences where a deceptive site control appears to do one thing, but has a different behavior when clicked. One looks like a play button on a video but sends the user to an unwanted download when clicked left, and the other looks like a close button but instead opens unwanted pop-up windows right. Traditionally, responsive web applications have used CSS media queries or window on resize to build responsive components that adapt content to different viewport sizes. However, both of these are global signals and require the overall viewport to change in order for the site to respond control to observe changes to sizes of elements on a page. Const row new resize ebs of entries greater than, for const entry of entries, const cr entry dot content rect console, logo limit entry, target console dot log back quote element size dollar, cr, width, px times dollar, cr, height, px back quote console dot log back quote element padding dollar, cr dot top px dollar, cr, left px back quote observe one or multiple elements the code snippet above uses the resize observer API to observe changes to an element. Developers writing JavaScript modules often want access to host-specific metadata about the modules that exposes the module URL via import.meta URL. Library authors might want to access the URL of the module being bundled into the library to more easily resolve resources relative to the module file as opposed to the current HTML document. In the future, Chrome plans to add more properties to import.meta. Hosted by Charles Harrison, Pop of Popping Engine.